Hello, hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. A bless, bless night into the 10th of July because this is actually almost 12 o'clock, 12 a.m. Sunday night. And even as I have been, you know, having this resonating in my spirit, this word resonating in my spirit, you know, and don't play in it for tomorrow. The power of the Holy Spirit is saying, move forward. Welcome to the channel. This is Angela behind the camera. And uh, tonight, I know this is God. And I know that this is a week that is calling us to draw nearer calling us to draw nearer to prior i haven't post in a little while but you know i've been going through some fasting and uh, i've been busy on my feet going 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 so i have to just stay beyond the camera and just pray and i pray that the lord has been working miracles in your life and you have been seeing the miracle glory be to god we worship god we exalt his holy name tonight we give him praise we give him glory we give him honor you may have your plans to go through this week you don't know how you don't know how you're gonna make it you don't know how things are gonna turn out you have an expectancy but I'm here to say persevere, persevere in his promise, persevere, be, be prepared, be prepared of his promise, his loyalty of whatever he promised he will carry through, his provision, whatever he says he will do. He said he would provide for all our needs according to his riches in glory be ready for the purpose that he has you to be on this earth there's a purpose for all of us there's a purpose that god has put on us for us to fulfill and seek him wholeheartedly believing that he will protect us and the scripture that i want to the scripture that i want to encourage the brothers and sisters in Christ, hallelujah, glory be to God. It is coming from Second Chronicles 7. As we face so much crisis in our nation, as we see so much deleting of people and children, we need God no more than ever. We need not only to pray, but we need to repent we need to repent. We need to turn. And when we seek God, we need to seek God wholeheartedly. We, according to the scripture, now listen to what Second Chronicles 7, 12 to 14 is saying to us. 12 to 15 is saying to us, hallelujah, glory be to God. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night who god is appearing to appearing to me it is night that i'm standing here glory be to god and said unto him i have heard thy prayer and i've chosen this place to myself for an house of sacrifice if i shut up heaven that there be no rain or if i command the locusts to devour the land or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. You see, it's not only about we just saying we got to pray and seek my face. That is humble one, pray to seek my face three and turn their wicked ways that is four then will i hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land 15 says no mine eyes shall be open 
and mine ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. 16 and last, for now have I chosen and sanctified this house that my name may be there forever and mine eyes and mine heart shall be there perpetually 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 kando rimano soturi keshanda rukundu ribosotora as the bible says if i shut up heaven that there be no rain are we going some to some drought right now? Are we going to some situation that it looks similar to this? And God is saying, if I, God, have shut up heaven that there no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, are we faced with locusts? Are we faced with these things that come to eat up that which we have planted? Have we planted things and it hasn't come to fruition because all sorts of insects are eating it before it come to fruition? All the things, earthquakes, flooding, and all these things. If I send pestilence among my people, the pestilence of all sorts of demonic influence that is upon the land at such a time as this. All sorts of initiation. Rebo Shanda Katalaya Soturia Rebo Shanda Labaha Krimo Soturi I Kanda Amondolika Sutura Roko Robo Shadaya. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying, come a little higher. Come a little higher. I have, a, I have a ears to hear you when you cry out in a way of repentance, in a way of seeking me wholeheartedly, in a way of humility. I will hear you. I will hear you, my children. I will hear you, my nation. I will hear you, world. I will hear you because I'm a God that promises. And whatever I promise is yes and amen. I'm a God that sees you in times of trouble. I'm a God that will come through for you no matter what. And so tonight, let us look on this scripture from Second Chronicles 7. It is a very popular scripture, but how many of us are not? How many of us are looking on the five things or four things that is in it that we must do? Not only pray, but there are specific things that God has asked us to do. And this is what the Lord is saying to us. Even as we're in a critical time in our nation, I cry out. I cry out for this nation, Jamaica. Hallelujah, glory be to God. I repent, O Marco Shadaba Sanda. I repent in the name of Jesus. I repent, Eko Shatoli Kendolobo Shaya Rukuba Soturi. I repent, Abaku Sande Ikinda Amo Soturi. Mighty God, I repent, mighty God. I repent in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I repent on the host of my business. I repent on the host of my family members. I repent in the name of Jesus on the community behalf, on the nation behalf. And I call out, I cry out for our children. I cry out for our mothers. I cry out for our fathers. I cry out in the name of Jesus for the leaders that are called to lead at such a time as this. I cry out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth God Almighty hallelujah glory be to God Jesus hallelujah may your word come and dwell in our hearts may your word do a sanctification in the name of Jesus may your word move hallelujah I cry out for the families, the marriages in the name of Jesus. I cry out, almighty God, for those that are jobless, for those that are sick and do not know what's happening with them in the name of Jesus. 
I cry out for the bereavement in the mighty name of Jesus. And God, I stand not in my strength, but in the strength of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Breathe afresh in the mighty name of Jesus and help us, Lord, to humble ourselves. Help us to seek you. Help us to turn. Help us, Lord God Almighty, to walk according unto your will and your way. In Jesus' precious name, amen. As we press into this week, family, I pray that we will move into a deeper understanding of what God wants of us. We will seek him wholeheartedly by repenting, walking in humility. Hallelujah, glory be to God. So much that God is calling us to do at such a time as this. I pray that we will be obedient in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May the peace of the Lord rest upon you as you go through this week. And may you see the hand of God in every vision, every plan that you have. As you seek him, when you come knocking, I pray that the doors will pop open. And that God, your purpose will come alive to glorify him what in heaven. God bless you. God keep you. See, feel, and seal the vision that God has given unto you. Don't give up. Don't give in. Keep pressing. In Jesus' name, God bless you.